What's up guys? Ryan here. We're going to check out uh, this dual stage uh, water filtration system from On The Go. Uh, I ordered these myself from portablewaterdi.com. Uh, they're assembled in the USA. <clears throat> um, these use water deion deionization for filtration. So this technology is simply done by using ion exchange. Um, they remove all ionized minerals and salts. If you're not familiar with that, deionize deionization requires the flow of water through two different types of ion exchange resins in order to effectively remove dissolved solids. This is the culprit for water spotting. As you know, each, each of these tanks holds a half cubic foot of resin. Uh, we're gonna hook them up and we're gonna use the included TDS meter and we're gonna, we're gonna test the water before and after. All right, so let's get started. So they include this little hose here. There's supposed to be no tools needed to hook this up. Um, these tanks are considered portable. <clears throat> so I can take them, I can take them anywhere. Let's see. We're gonna have to move a little bit closer. These tanks essentially hook together with these gator locks. This is the connector between the two tanks. So the first stage is going to be here. We'll connect this. And I guess I need to connect this one first because I have no way to spin this around. So let's go like this. There we go. Now let's connect this one. All right. Now this is the included gator clip here. You essentially push down, where is it at? They kind of lock into place. You push this little pin down and it opens it up. So let's give these a try. All right, that's pretty easy. All right, there we go. Let's run some water through it and uh, I'll run a couple gallons through it just to get the system going and we'll test the water. Okay, first thing, I think, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run inside and I'm gonna grab some water from the tap and uh, we're gonna see where we're at. First. Okay, I grabbed some water from inside and uh, let's test this water, see where we're at. I'm going to use two different TDS meters here. One's TDS Easy. This was included when you order um, from, from portablewaterdi.com. Another one I have here is another brand, Hofun, H O F U N. This one's also available online. I know right now we're reading zero. I'm getting about two twenty seven, two twenty eight here. Two twenty three. Let's do the next one. All right, got water flowing through this thing now. 
So let's see where we're at initially. Oh, I might need to run this some more and see what, well, we'll see what happens. With this now. So remember we were at like what, 225 with this before? Let's see where we're at now. And I only ran, maybe, maybe a gallon came out before I put it in the bucket. And now check out where we're at. Okay, I got water in the bucket there. I just tested it. Maybe a gallon of water came out. And look, we're already at, we're already at 14 guys. <clears throat> I don't know if you guys can see that. <clears throat> so we're at uh, 14 for this meter. Let's check the other meter and see where we're at. Okay, this one is reading... 20. Let's run another gallon or two through here. I'm going to dump this out and uh, see if we can get down to single digits. So according to, according to the manufacturer, the optimal flow on this is less than three gallons per minute. That's what they recommend. see where we're at now. I'm just going to do both of them at the same time. All right. This is looking really good. I don't know if you guys can see that, but we're at 10 and seven well i ran another bucket through here and i'm still getting in the single digits um but i'm not getting down quite as low as i would like like one two or three parts per million that's extremely low i suspect it's probably my hose you know i've used this hose a lot so whatever our water is going through here is flushing through my hose and i'm it's going up to but still, sing, like I said, single digits, I'm happy with that. That is excellent. Um, this is a great system. Highly recommend it. Here's an up close of the little connectors here. I'm going to clean my solar panels and uh, we're gonna run some more water through it and then I'm gonna test it again. That way I've cycled a, a couple more gallons through it and I suspect it's gonna get lower. Okay, I'm back. I ran a couple more gallons through this system and uh, <clears throat> I'd like to do one last test before I wrap everything up and see what we got down to on these filters. I know you have to I don't know if it's called charging them or what, but you're supposed to run a couple gallons through them to, to charge them. So let's get a couple more samples in here before we, before we close it up, close up shop here. 
would say I ran several gallons through it while I was cleaning. And what I cleaned came out excellent. Looks really good. Um, dried, no water spots whatsoever. Looks great. So, all right, let's get our first reading here. Actually, let's just do both of them. Nobody has time to wait. Ooh, baby, nice. All right, then now I'm really happy with this system. Check this out, guys. Look at that, five. And this one's reading four. One more time. Five and four. I'm happy with that, guys. There you have it. I'll take that all day. I'm not even gonna test it again. Okay, turn those off. There you have it, guys. <clears throat> so I ran a couple gallons few through it. Um, highly recommend these guys. And uh, I'm gonna wrap this up. I'll speed up the video and you guys can see what it's like for to uh, clean these babies up. Okay guys, one last thing. I gave you the weight of these with resin in them, which was like 32 pounds. That doesn't really mean anything because once you're moving these around from place to place or location to location, they're gonna be charged. They're gonna be full of water. <clears throat> so let's see what these guys weigh with water in them real quick. Let's check. I'm gonna say it's 55, let's see. Nope, we are right at, what, 40, 46 pounds of water. So there you have it. Just to give you guys an idea of what these will weigh when you're actually going to be moving them around. Because they're going to have water in them. This one's right at 44. So, all right, guys. Hope that helps. That's the last little bit of info I wanted to give you for these these tanks highly recommended um yeah love these tanks so you'll be seeing more of these and stay tuned for more videos